Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 5 and 6 of Descending Stories. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god. This is eye color different since the beginning. It doesn't make me go back. Like, oh! <laughs> but you need to eat. You can't always like, oh, I'm not gonna eat. Too busy in my work. Jesus, you just made him mess up! <laughs> no, gone but never forgotten. But please don't show his daughter that. <laughs> she might freak. Either way, it's excitement or upsetness. It does make you wonder, like, if he was truly alive, like, how popular he still would have been now. But all the what ifs. Can we not talk about that though?
Well, I mean, because you never forget your roots, right? You always have to come back to that. Hmm? <laughs> it's cute. I still won't trust him. Right. Like I get it, he, he really wants to do it out of the goodness of his heart. But something about him is just I don't know. Every time I look at him I get this weird feeling in my stomach and it's gonna bite me in the ass. I could be wrong about him though. I've been wrong about characters before, but I just can't shake it and I don't know why. <laughs> but like your baby Shin, he's grown. Oh, he looks like his grandpa. Seriously, if Shin was alive, he would be oh so like in love with his grandson. Be like, oh my god, yes, my twin. So fucking cute. Oh my god. Yeah, duh. You need a lot to sleep. You'll do fine. You did fine with the kids, so you're going to do fine now. Just breathe and then let it all out. Relax. It's okay to be nervous.
Poor Bon. <laughs> you sure about that? And now he got eyes in the back of his head. He knows everything. All that. You sure? And why are you going though? No, <laughs> that's too much. You never, no matter what it is, you never want to have a... <sighs> Excuse me. Um, you never want to have someone's name on your body. Yeah, and I guess you have to find that out on your own. Even though she still feels some type of way about him, 
I still love their father-daughter relationship. Oh!
Okay, we, we gotta get him to the hospital. Quickly! Oh. He was in the in-between. Because, okay, 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 okay. Because, okay, if, if he was truly, truly in the in-between, in purgatory, then, in my opinion, all three of them would have been there together because, of course, both of them would have been waiting for a bond. After years on years end. But him having. Seeing her. One. Having the, the, the heart attacks. Because it wasn't a stroke. It looked more like a heart attack. But at the same time. It could have been signs of a stroke. At the same time as well. But him passing out. And finally talking to Shin. And Shin Finally fucking speaking, like, it's just, once again, it tells you, we're at the halfway point of this show for this second half, and we are getting closer to the end of Bond's journey, which still hurts. And I'm not really ready to see that, because he is such an interesting character, and I feel like he has so much more to tell, and he has so much more for, you know, his two apprentices! like this I cannot imagine both Shin's Shin's daughter and Yotaro moving on without Bond but it, it's gonna happen we all know it's gonna happen oh it is too much okay uh -huh. My thing is, still, I'm going to say it again, why the fuck did they not take him to the hospital? That's the biggest situation. If somebody collapses on stage during a performance, you take them to the fucking hospital. ASAP. That's the emergency room. Like, ASAP. And so... I mean, and I get it. Maybe everybody thought it was a part of the show, which for a moment when he is literally like the 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 way that incent was really swarming around him. I'm sitting here and I'm looking like I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why do I feel like this is going to go left field? And then once he saw her and how he got extremely sweaty and I'm just like, oh, this is not going to end good. And I'm like, please, don't let it be now. Like, not on episode five. Like, I, I don't want him to die now. Like, I, and that's why I was like, even till now, I'm like, let him die in the final episode of this show overall. Do not kill him when there's so many more episodes left because he is such an interesting character. And he's like my number one fave. And the biggest reason why I like this show a lot, because I cannot imagine, like, once you kill off a character and you have all these other characters you're also watching the show for, like, yes, they still make the show, but then that one character who is the show, and when they're gone, it doesn't feel the same. So I'm just like, please don't do it now. Like, uh, just wait, wait until the end of the damn show. Wait until the damn series is over. And then, then do it. 
Just let him be okay. That's all I care about. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Alrighty, episode six in three, two, one, go. And then my thing is, I thought he would have been over her when she died. It's too much. Exactly. Oh, thank God. There's at least somebody else in the audience who knows something is up. But, oh, God. And I get it. Uh, I'm just super stressed right now.
Of course, duh. Ha, <laughs> And he had to keep that together for the entire performance. I, I commend him so much, but get to the fucking hospital. Okay. 
You did what had to be done. And we don't want that. We gotta make sure Bond's okay first, and then we can all cry. Because really no one else can know about this. You gotta be strong. No. <laughs> It's home. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. And I think you just want to, like, put more pizzazz in it. There's nothing wrong with that.
Mm-hmm. What the, okay, then why are we talking about rebuilding the place? We still gotta worry about him, regardless. We hope he just wakes up soon. I mean, you the one who kind of walked up on him, though. I mean, huh, okay, okay, hold on, time out, time out. What else do you think he's going to tell you? It's, okay, it's been a week. Some people can recover just like that, but because, remember, Bond is a certain age, it's going to take a little more time. So I feel like it's going to be a week and a couple of days, but I do hope that he wakes up at the end of this episode. Excuse me. <laughs> I am too. Oh. Uh, huh? So.
Oh, God, my heart. Just in that moment, I was scared. Because it's like, it's just, he's like, he's crying. And I'm like, I oh, But he's okay. He's up. That's all I care about. I can't imagine if he if he died. It's already It's already gonna hurt when it happens. I'm not ready for the pre-show of it happening and everything. Cause I get it. Yes, Bon is an old man and it's just like you know it's gonna happen. But I am going to say this. I do wish we kinda got to see a little bit more of what Bon was seeing in his comatose state, especially for being in a coma for a week. Not only, I mean, because the only thing that we got to see was the the little small conversation between him and Shin. That's it. And then the, the shit that Shin just did to him. So there has to be more. And I'm guessing he's seeing both of their spirits of two people who are super duper important to him. Plus everything else. Maybe in his way, possibly his life flashing before his eyes, but not to his final breath. More of like, okay, hey, you need to wake up. You still have more things to do and ish in this limited time. But I feel like even with what I'm seeing right now, he's going to be on break. And I hate to say that, but your health, you got to relax. Wait, 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 please, for the love of God, did she not see her dad or her mom covered in blood? If she saw that, I'm not ready to watch 7 and 8 next week, or even probably on Sunday if I have time, because... That is, if it's that, that is super traumatizing for a child. Like, oh my freaking God. I, I cannot imagine being in that space and in that mindset of seeing that and having that like almost in the back of your mind and you kind of like forget it as a child because it is so traumatizing towards you and you remember it as an adult. Excuse me. And all that PTSD comes in. That's too freaking much. Oh my god. But both episodes are good. I, I really think... I I enjoyed the fact that Yotaro really stepped up. Both of them stepped up for Bond at the end of the day. Because like in the moment, I was thinking like, oh, what the fuck is about to happen? Like, how are we going to continue? Like, And I get it where he's like, no, I gotta do this. We gotta entertain these people. Even though... Bond is now like deathly ill like his health is taking a turn for a worse but this comes first even though he is my also he's also my first but it's just oh my god it, it's just at first I was like Wait, what, what the fuck are you doing no you can't do this like you gotta go to the hospital with them you can't stay here but it's just, you gotta do what you have to do that's all I'll say. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards the episodes five and six of season two of Descending Stories. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons <clears throat> and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes seven and eight. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.